All right, let's do a PS4 Slim power supply replacement. It's a very common problem on PlayStation 4s where power supply will fail if your PS4 doesn't show any signs of life. There is a pretty big chance that it just needs a new power supply. It only takes five minutes and you just need two screwdrivers. We need a Torx, the eight size screwdriver and the Phillips. So we'll begin by taking the top cover off. So it's, we want to start prying where it's a Sony here first. So just push with your fingers, just like that. And then push where it says PS4 as well. Just like that, there we go. And just lifts up. Then let's turn it around. We have two torque screws right here, four Phillips screws and a smaller Phillips right here. So those four are the same size, and this is plastic, this is our power supply right here. So let's begin by taking the torque screws out. The one on the left side is a longer one, if you have it oriented the same way as I do. So keep that in mind when you're setting them aside. So just take this one out, I magnetize my screwdriver, there we go, the one on the right as well. So this the one goes on the right. Take the metal. This metal thing just comes off. Then we'll take out the four Phillips screws. They're the same size again, so don't need to keep orientation of them or anything. Just like that. And we'll leave this screw right here for now. We'll go back to the back side of the PS4 because there's still one more screw that's holding it in place. So to take the back cover off, I usually like to begin by taking out the hard drive because it will make it easier uh, so it doesn't get in the way. So we'll begin by pulling this hard drive cover off to the side. So just push it to be the sound, just like that. And it just lifts up. And there is a Phillips screw that holds the hard drive in place. This one. Not gonna lose, it's a pretty big one. And then we got the hard drive latch right here. So just pull with your fingers and just pull it straight up, nice and easy. And it just comes out. Be gentle with the hard drive, they're pretty fragile. So I'll just set it aside. Then we have a warranty sticker here, it needs to be removed. You can pry it up with your tweezers. By doing that, you do avoid your warranty, but if you're replacing it yourself, chances are you already don't have warranty. So if you had one, you would have taken it back. So we'll unscrew this another torque screw from the back cover, set it aside, and now we just have to lift it up. To lift up the back cover, what you want to do is you want to pry from this side here. So we'll begin, my call is from the corner, and just push it right up, just like that, and then on the other side as well, push it up. And we will lift this side, we will lift it from here, and then slide it down like that. Because there is a lip on this side that's holding it in place, so you cannot just lift it up. You have to lift this side up, and then it slides down like that. There we go. See, that's the lip that's holding in there. So we'll set it aside. Now, here, you don't need to take any of those screws out. The only screw that holds the power supply in place from this side is this screw right here. It's the second one. The second one from the side from the edge, this Phillips screw right here. So we'll just take this one out. Keep it separate from the rest of them because it's different size. So I'll just set it aside near my hard drive here so I don't forget. Go back here. Now we can get back to this one. Again, this one is different size from the rest of them. So pay attention not to mix them up. This antenna clip here, you cannot lift it up. It needs to slide. It needs to slide out because there is a metal uh, band here that holds it in place. So what we need to do is we need to slide it out of there. So I just need to kind of slide it up like that. As you can see, 
it's still there you just need to fish out this cable out of this hook so what we'll do is we'll go around we'll pull in it just like that there we go so now it's no longer in the way of the power supply to get the power supply out we're going to pry from the top of it here and just nice and easy there we go and just like that once the power supply is loosened we want to flip it up and this way it's still had them held in place with this cable right here so we'll unplug that and it's out and this is how your new power supply is going to come in it's not going to have anything special just the same exactly like the one you have here but working so let's pretend for this exercise that this is the new one and I will show you how to assemble it back together so we'll just put it right here plug the cable back in first there we go and then flip it back make sure those go in here you're gonna feel that once it's in place there we go gonna align this back this antenna here so it's back in place so it should be like that this is how it goes back in there this is how it should be and then we're gonna go like that and slide it and slide it back in place and screw the screw in. get that tiny screw it's a Phillips again there we go now those four cover the long one goes on the left again and the short one goes on the right side here so we'll just screw them back in place go let's go to this side and put that Phillips in the same place again that's where it goes there we go now let's install the back cover we want to begin by putting this edge here and sliding it under there so I'm gonna in this motion. So you slide it under here, and there we go. Just clips it down. Just gonna press. Perfect. You can put this torque screw back into the back cover. Boom. Now the hard drive. this is clipped in it's not broken All right. so the hard drive orientation goes like that if your fan is on top this is the top of the hard drive this is how it's gonna go in just have to get the right angle and just slide it slide it down there All right. Phillips back in there. Perfect. Optional, you can put the warranty sticker back. Doesn't really matter. And now the hard drive plus the cover again slides that way. There we go. And now the top case. Just slide it down like that. Again, the Sony is the last. This is the last part that gets clipped in. So you want to get this edge under here. So it goes under, 
and uh, close it down. All right. Perfect. Now you can just uh, plug it in and see if that fixed the problem. And if you're lucky, then it should be good to go.